Arsenal Fan TV, DT, um, I saw you as I was walking out. I could see that you weren't happy. I mean, it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. It was so poor again today. 1-0, though, and even though we hadn't played well, we were cruising. And I don't know what happened. And then after that, the heads just dropped. Do you expect anything different? I don't. I'm not angry. I'm used to it. It's going over my head now. I can't wait till Arsene Wenger's gone. I just want new life injected in this club. It's as simple as that. It's dejecting the life out of me, Robbie. I mean, because, you know, you know what the, the, it's going to be now. Alexis Sanchez mm. on the verge of joining Manchester United. I mean, mm -hmm. and on top of that, we're slipping down the league. You know, and you looked out there today and you thought to yourself, where's that player that's going to change this game for us? That player wasn't on the pitch. The only one that can hold his head up is Jack Wilshere. Mm. Apart from that, that's it. I remember what Arsene said, said a couple of years ago about after Van Persie, we will not be selling to Manchester United again. The guy's a fucking liar. It's as simple as that. I can't stand the guy. Can't stand him. Fuck his legacy. Fuck what he's done for the club in the first few years. What you've done now is outweighing it. It's turned the club to poison. A lot of them fans there today, you notice there's no anger anymore. Mm. Fans ain't booing. Fans ain't getting real, real angry like last year. Because we've said it. And no matter what you say, he still stays in a job. There's talk of protests again next week and mm -hmm. banners and stuff like that. I mean, do you think, do you expect things to get worse than they are? Or do you think that fans are just resigned to it now and they're just like, you know what? I'll just come and whatever, whatever. Yeah. I don't think the protests are going to work because a lot of people are like, I can't be bothered because there's still some actual fucking dickheads out there that support the man. And that's all they are. It's me. It's simple as that. <laughs> it's a but it's, I mean, so for you, no change can come until... Because the thing is now, we've got a situation where, as I said, Alexis Sanchez is, <laughs> will be gone. Wasn't even in the team today. We know he's definitely going. Yeah. Um, we got to replace him, haven't we? We can see out there. Without Ozil, you know, like you said, uh, Jack's of the standard. Without Ozil and without, you know, um, Alexis, there's t the team looked very average today. Where's the money gone? We've got enough money. Where's it going? We still ain't even spent the money we bought, we sold Ox with. That's true. You know, every year we're sitting there going... Where's the money gone? Every year, we're in profit. The likes of Huddersfield have spent more money than us. There comes a point where you've got to sit here and go, what's going on? We all know the main culprit, Stan Kroenke, but he's not responsible for what happens on the pitch. He don't pick the team. He doesn't do the tactics and everything else. It's as simple as that. I told you, everything's just... At least I got to see the seaside today. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the only positive out of it. And it's just, I'm just going through the motions now. It's like I said to you the other week, it's like a marriage that you know is finished. Right, right, yeah. And you just carry on for the kids. <laughs> We're the kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what it feels like. And it's just, you know, like I said, I bring my boy and I just try and, try and enjoy it. But it's just not enjoyable. It just really isn't. There's just nothing out there anymore. And as it says it, it is embarrassing. Mm. And, you know, with all due respect to Bournemouth, lovely little club. Thank you. But we shouldn't be losing to them. But I think it's the first time we've ever lost to them as well. But mm. we were 3-0 down to them last year. Mm. You know, we shouldn't... We're coming to these games now, Robbie. We met up in a service station before the game and you're like, what do you think today then? And I'm like... I'd go into no games with any confidence anymore. I used to be able to come to these games and go, yeah, three points. And that wasn't arrogance. That was the fact that we knew that we were a club that could... Not the quality. You know what I mean? And we could go, yeah, it's fine, it's Bournemouth, no worries. Now we're going to these games going, Bournemouth. Oh, fucking hell. I wonder what shit we're going to show today. <laughs> That's how I feel. I'm down, I'm dejected, I can't be bothered, and I can't wait for Arsene Wenger to just fuck off. <laughs>